If you're having trouble matching your footstep sounds to the footsteps, then this is the tutorial for you. I'll show you two ways to do this all in iMovie. Let's get started. Breakology. All right, here we are in iMovie. Now, I've got my walk cycle all loaded up. Let's take a look. He's just walking, but there is no sound. Now, this method takes a little time. You see the audio up here? iMovie is awesome because it has a lot of awesome audio sounds that you can choose from. So foot, steps, and all of these pop up. There's some awesome sounds here. You see? Now, it just depends on which one you want. Let's take footsteps, hard concrete down and grab this. Now, I wanna blow this up as much as I can so I can see as much as I can. Trim this down so all I have is one footstep. Okay, it doesn't match up, but what I'm gonna do is copy this, copy, and match it up with the first step. Boom. Slide this over so the first one matches up. All right, and then you can guess what I'm doing. Find the second one right there and paste it right there. See? Now find the third one right there. And I paste it right there. Find the fourth one, paste it right there. Fifth one, paste it right there. So watch. Now it all matches up. Sixth one, let's do all the way across. This is the tedious method, but it works. So I've got all these footsteps and let's watch. Look at that, totally works. That is method one. Method two is a lot easier. Here we are again in iMovie. I go up here to audio and we got our footsteps here. All right, I've already got footsteps in the search bar so the footsteps pop up. Let's take footsteps hard concrete down again, pull it down and you'll notice, let's not even cut this up, this audio up. You see the WAV files right here, let's play it and you'll notice it does not sync up. Now, how do I sync it up? Well, this is how you do it. Going on the, odd, on the video part, you find the very first step right there. I found it. I clicked the mouse and it left this marker right there. Now I simply grab the audio, slide it over so that it matches up with the first step. All right, you want the first step as a marker. All right, the first step matches up, but everything else doesn't. That's okay. Now look down here on the audio. I'm gonna right click it, it says show speed editor. Click on that, and oh, you see a little black line appear right here? Follow that all the way to the end, and you see that this circle has appeared. Not this circle. This second circle is for fade in and fade out. This top circle, grab it, and you'll see you're adjusting the speed of the audio. Now, if I slow it down, you'll notice it turns into a turtle. If I speed it up, you notice it turns into a rabbit. Turtle and rabbit, makes sense. Now, how do I sync it up? On the video portion, I find the second step. Boom, there's the second step. Again, I click my mouse, it has it leaves a marker. Now you see the waveform of the audio clip down here. I'm simply gonna match up the second step with the marker. How do I do that? I go to this dot here, click it, and speed it up so that it matches. You see now how the second waveform matches right on with the marker I left? Now let's play it. And it completely syncs up. Look at that. Now it's a little too many steps, so I just clip this and have it stop where I want it to stop. There it is. Now make sure that when you do you know, clip it that you don't grab the marker. I grab the speed editor because that will speed it up even more. And there it is. That's how you sync it up really quickly. The thing that you have to make sure in order for this to work is that 
The second method to work, excuse me, is that your walk cycle is very consistent. You have the same exact frames in between every step. If one step takes longer than the second one, the second one takes shorter than the other one, and everything's you know, out of whack, then this will not work because the audio is very constant as well. Now, again, same thing. On the other hand, if the audio is not constant, like one step happens before or takes longer, then that won't work either. And you'll probably have to settle for uh, method one. But if everything is constant, is everything's the same, then this will work. Pretty cool. All right, I hope this video was helpful. There are a lot of video tutorials on this channel for stop motion, Lego things. So go look at all those tutorials and have fun filming stuff. See you in the next video.